next. Number 26. Yes. Uh, to add in, um, to add insult to injury or to kick a dead horse while it's down, to just keep picking on someone when they're, they're already hurting. There's no reason for it, but you do. People do it all the time. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. That we'd say there's no need to kick them while they're down, but yeah, to add insults to already an injury. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys, how would you guys say it there? To add insult to injury, probably that way. Yeah. To, to uh, yeah, there's no reason to make things worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but there yeah. are some idioms that is we, we don't use, but we have some uh, different ones. Yeah. But it's... Yeah, yeah, but you wouldn't say it that way. Um, you probably said it differently. Yes, yes. So I don't know how to say in Portuguese uh, a some idiom that we have close to that one. Yes. So to add in, so, but I will think about that and I I will remember. It will come in my mind some idiom that we have also. No? Yeah, <laughs> that I like your what you have put up there. So your first yeah. date, my date showed up late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To, add like injury, or to insult to the injury, he forgot his wallet, so I had to pay. I bet you they didn't have another date. Can yes. <laughs> yeah. You go ahead, the next one. Yes, so uh, that one, 26. To add, let's add something to the 26. To add insult to the injury. It's when you have a bad situation, it becomes even worse. So let's say you're going out on a first date and your date should up late. That's already a bad situation. But then to add insult to injury, your date forgot his wallet and you had to pay for both of you. Yes. And yeah. that's good for today, yes, Eddie? We can go 30. A lot. Go 30? Yeah, go 30. Yes. Okay. Let's go 30. It's 150, yes? Yes, 150. That would give us five classes of these if we did 30. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's do it. Great. That's yeah. a good idea. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, 27. Sorry, I was um, I was actually trying to text you, and I texted the wrong person. It was a buddy of mine, and I called him Babe. So, anyways, it's kind of embarrassing when you do that to a guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you say, love, what are you doing? And then I, I'm okay. <laughs> but thanks for calling me love. So yeah, number 27, to hit the sack. Yes. Uh, darling, it's getting late. You should probably hit the sack. Yeah, it means to go to bed. Um, I had a boss when I was commercial fishing. He used to say, it's time to hit the fart sack. It's just funny. It always stuck with me to hit the fart sack. But yeah, to hit the sack, to hit the hay, to go to bed. So go ahead. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so to hit the sack means to go to sleep. Example, I'm tired. I think I will hit the sack. Next one. Yeah, number 28. The ball is in your court. So you would say that when um, it is, when you're handing over the reins to, or when you're giving someone the, the authority to, or to make the decisions of what's happening in this situation or in the company, um, basically just letting them take control of the thoughts um, on how we should do things. So yeah basically letting them take over. 
So go ahead, so What's your thoughts? Yes, uh -huh. so great what you told us. So the ball is in your court. This is used when you need to make the next decision or the next step. So I might say we offered her a great promotion. So now the ball's in her court. So it's up to her to decide if she is going to accept the promotion or look for another job or do something else. Yes. And the next. Good, good. Yeah. So yeah, number 29. We uh so to be or go barking up the wrong tree. Um to be doing uh to how would you put that to look in the wrong place or to accuse the wrong person i would say like if you go to your boss and start talking crap or bs to about somebody um that you work with maybe that might be barking up the wrong tree or instead of going to them first but yeah or going to the wrong person to tell them about something that is going on that is bothering you, you might be barking up the wrong tree. You might want to think about who you talk to or where you go before you just start barking up the wrong tree. So anyways, yeah, to be at the wrong place or the wrong person. So yeah, go ahead, Sal. Yes, great. Good example, Seth. So to be or to go barking up the wrong tree, yes? This is when you look in the wrong place, you accuse the wrong, wrong person. Yes. So if you think I lost, I lost your ring, you're barking up the wrong tree. And it means the wrong person. Next. And the last. Yeah. Uh, number 30. So to get or to have your ducks in a row, you would say you are falling behind your bills are getting are not getting paid um you're slacking you need to clean your house you need to get your ducks in a row is what you would say to someone if they are not doing good in life or in work or to have your ducks in a row is someone that's spot on that's getting everything done and they're trying their hardest and they're doing good and they have their ducks in a row not sure where that originated from but have you ever seen ducks all lined up it's pretty it's pretty cute i like it we'll stop all traffic to let the geese or the ducks walk through with their little babies <laughs> that's awesome so yeah. you see stop. yes great really good that's really amazing examples no and that one also, to get or to have your ducks in a row. This is when you, you're well prepared or well organized for something specifically. So you might say the conference was supposed to start 10 minutes ago. They should have gotten their ducks in a row. They should have been organized or prepared yes 